I taught them a few stitches and then they've invented a bunch of stitches. Really, the sky's the limit. There's nothing we don't want to do because we're a place for creativity and artistic expression, really. I'm Magda Dia, and I uh, am the art director and founder here of Jump Into Art Studios. I just love being in it. I love seeing what are we going to do today, rolling up our sleeves. I love to see people finding their voice. I love to see people, especially kids, gain confidence because there are no mistakes in art. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Anything goes, and me, as the teacher, I'll show you a technique or two, but what do you want to make? What do you want to create? There's nothing better. There's nothing better. We went on this little vacation up the California coast, and I saw this house, and it was just this little tiny house, and you walk in, and people are sitting around doing uh, creative things. It wasn't great art, it was just engaging art, and I thought, I wish this were my job. And then my husband was transferred here in 2010. I started working at this little place called the McKinney Art House. And then as time went on, my little program, Jump Into Art, got bigger and bigger. And the Jump Into Art concept was the concept of just being creative. Not fine art, but engaging, getting lost in, you don't know what time it is kind of art. Watching my students, whether they're adults or kids or whatever, I love seeing where it's going and I love going along for the ride because it's not about what Magda or Miss Magda, as the kids call me, wants. It's being part of that co-creative process, which is really art. In this weird, crazy time with everything instant, sometimes it is a place where they're learning to do something for that sustained period of time. You know, many people think that to take an art class you have to be a great artist, and that's just not true. Just to do something creative is so good for the soul. I love McKinney, it's engaged. Uh, people help each other. We're very active with community outreach. There's only so many meals you can go out to each week and so much TV we can watch. But to engage in something that's scary or different or we're going to get lost in, I think that's awesome. <laughs>